Hello everybody. I'm back again with another soup recipe that is fully cooked and ready to be prepared or ready to be um, put up and packaged away for longevity in the freezer. All of the soups and stew recipes that I've shared with you guys in this freezer workshop are good in the freezer up to three months. So to begin, well first of all this is the five ingredient white chicken chili. It's super good you guys. If you haven't looked at the recipe yet, the secret sauce is the salsa verde salsa, like that green salsa. You just buy it at the grocery store or you can make it from scratch if you find a recipe to do that. I typically just purchase it from the store and it works just fine. So five ingredients, super fast, super healthy, super yummy, yummy, yummy. This is perfect, perfect, perfect for Saturday night or Saturday afternoon at home watching football or Sunday for a football day. You just take it out of the freezer, thaw it out, reheat it. I always top this with fresh avocado, a little bit of shredded cheese, and I will put out a bowl of tortilla chips so that my kids, you know, they like to dip it. It's just really good. Um, you just can't go wrong with such a simple healthy, delicious recipe for cold weather. So of course, like always, the first thing we're gonna do is get the name of our recipe on our back. Of course, I left out five ingredients. I just wrote white chicken chili and date it. You need to have this eaten within three months. You do not want to go through all this prep work and have to throw food out because it stayed in the freezer too long. So I have a gallon size bag and I've mentioned it in other videos, but I like to use a ladle to scoop so I can count the servings. This easily makes two meals for us. So I am going to separate it into two dinner size bags. And that way this one recipe, I made it according to the recipe on my website. Um, so I didn't double it or anything. This is how much one of the recipes makes. So definitely realize that each of these recipes might be you know maybe four or five recipes a day but you're going to get a substantially larger portion out of each recipe so my family of four is only going to eat half of this pot right and i'm still going to have leftovers so what i'm going to do is get a second bag and do the same exact same do the exact same thing and have two dinner portions so I'm gonna set that aside and show you how I close it up. So you can still see there's a lot in there. That'll be for dinner bag number two. Move this out of the way. Okay, so here it is. It fills my gallon bag about halfway if it's standing up. We're gonna get all the air out of here like always. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Air is not your friend with freezer cooking. Now I'm gonna lay it flat get it flat and then now I can see that there's a large air pocket in there so I'm gonna lift it up and I'm gonna push the air out very carefully by doing this you are um, protecting your meal from getting freezer burn once you feel like you get the air out seal it back up and then to store it all you do is lay it flat in your freezer and then stack the rest of your soups up on top of it so this is the white chicken chili like I say, five ingredients, super easy to make, super quick to make, thawed in the fridge overnight, heat it up the day you wanna eat it, microwave. I typically reheat on the stove top, then I add diced avocados to this, a little bit of shredded um, Monterey Jack cheese, and then I will give my kids some of those tortilla chips, blue corn tortilla chips are what we typically eat with it, and they use it almost like dipping it into their chili very good, guys. I hope y'all try it this fall and let me know what you think. Okay, guys. I'll see y'all soon. Bye.